And thanks for tuning in. This is TD9 Shooting Channel. And I'm bringing out a new rifle today, or upper at least. And I'm sure you guys already saw from the listing. Alrighty guys, and here she is. So I went with the Core 15 TAC 3 16 inch 1 and 7 twist with the Diamond Head VRST 13 and a half rail. The Diamond Head rail really feels good when you're holding it. It's not really bulky or thick, it's perfect. And the 300 blackout was a new acquisition for me. I did a lot of reading up on it and I wanted a new caliber. I mean 556223 is still going to be my primary round of use and what I have stockpiled but the 300 is just going to be kind of something that I can play around with and maybe do a little uh, big game hunting or something here in the future. So one of the things that really got my eye on the Core 15 upper is their warranty and quality work. So here's a little matchup of that diamond head onto the upper. Now you can barely tell. It's a free float. And this is the one with the slant cut at the end. You know, they got the A2 flash hider, MBUS2 uh, front and back uh, flip up sights, BCM gunfighter charging handle, Core 15 bolt, which looked really good. And uh, this diamond head is going to take the proprietary uh, rail, so anything accessory wise you want to get, you got to get something that's made for that. You can't just put a mag pole on. I just put this uh, ProTech uh, light on there. I used a 45 degree angle to get it on the side there. It's working really good on there, really bright. I want to say it's 450 lumens, something like that. So I put this guy on my Colt lower, and I have the Colt LE 6920 with the Magful Punisher. So if you guys want to check out that video, go check this out. And I thought I would try the Core 15 out for my um, 300 Blackout build. So basically, though, with Core 15, I mean, you could do anything to their product. You could be the 100th owner, the 20th owner, it doesn't matter. I mean, you could snap the barrel in front of them, hand it to them, and then they give you a new one. And I mean, that's how good their warranty is, so it was a really plus going with them. And right now I'm running, you know, just the PMAG. And if you haven't seen the 300 Blackout, here's a really good look at it. That's a 208 subsonic round uh, Hornaday. What really got me going with the 300 Blackout for my new upper purchase was the fact that it will take all the same magazines for 223556, the same bolt carrier group, uh, firing pin, everything's the same. All you need is a new barrel. So if you already have a lot, if you already have an AR and a lot of magazines and some bolts, then uh, this is pretty much the round to go. It is an expensive round, but I think the price is going down right now. If you're lucky, anywhere from forty cents to two fifty-three dollars a bullet is what they're looking at right now. But for me, it's usually been about sixty cents a round is what I've been finding them for, and you can find them locally, but it's easier to find online. Anyway guys, here's a look at my new 300 Blackout Upper. This is TD9 guys, thanks for checking it out. Make sure you drop by and look at my uh, Colt AR-15 video with this lower with the actual Colt Upper. 
basically here's my 300 blackout I'm loving the round if you have any hesitation and you're not sure that it's the round for you I jump aboard because this round is promising and it will be in stock soon this is a TD9 thanks guys and I'm out